Okay, so this is our first lesson of our measuring time unit. And this is called Telling Time to the Hour, based off of Math Focus 4, pages 262 to 264. Now I know some of you are probably thinking, well, I don't need to know how to tell time. I already know how to tell time. Well, that may be the case, but a lot of you depend on digital clocks and aren't used to using analog clocks with the hands. And many of you have asked me or said to me, when's it recess? What time is it right now? Which indicates to me that uh, you need some practice. So we're going to begin a unit on measuring time. Um, for some of you, or for a lot of you, this is probably going to be very easy. But uh, it never hurts to review. So if you don't use it, you lose it. So let's begin. Uh, before we begin, I'm going to point out that there's an online interactive clock tool at HTTPS www.visnos.com slash demo clock and I'll show you what it looks like. It is right here. So this is a great tool to use because you can move the hands and the time shows digitally. Uh, you can change it to AM or PM I believe. You can reset it. You can put the real time in. Uh, it's got a second hand. The hour hand is colored uh, orange or yellow and the uh, minute hand is color green, so it might be useful to use this. And it's uh, the link to it is in your uh, the notes I will send you. Okay. We probably won't need that for today though, because this one's pretty straightforward. So uh, just to review, when you're telling time to the hour on a clock, on an analog clock, the big hand or the minute hand will always be at the twelve, while the little hand or the hour hand will always be on the hour. Okay, so this is, we're talking at the top of the hour. Uh, some other things to review are AM means from midnight to before noon. So it's technically 12 AM or midnight until 11.59 AM in the morning. So right before it becomes noon. And then PM is from noon until before midnight. So 12 o'clock PM until 11.59, the minute before midnight is PM. And so that breaks up your 24 hour day. So we've got 12 hours here and 12 hours here. Now, time to the hour can be written in two ways. It can be written using numbers. So for example, Ethan gets up at 7 o'clock a.m. and Ethan goes to bed at 9 o'clock p.m. So that's how we would write it using numbers. The numbers, a colon, and a.m. or p.m. And using words. So for example, Ethan gets up at 7 o'clock in the morning and Ethan goes to bed at 9 o'clock in the evening or 9 o'clock at night. Your word choice there doesn't really matter either way. But it, So 7 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the evening, or 9 o'clock at night. Pretty straightforward stuff so far. So we're learning to express it, time using numbers, and then using words. Okay, Let's take a look at checking. So it says here, Carmen's guitar lesson starts at this time after school. Write the time in two ways using numbers and words. Well, let's take a look at the clock now. So our minute hand is on the 12, so it's the top of the hour, and our hour hand is on the 5. So this, in number form, should be 5 o'clock. Now, we need to figure out whether it's a.m. or p.m. We know that it's p.m. because it tells us that it takes, starts at this time after school. So it'd be 5 o'clock p.m. Now to write it in words, we would write 5 o or, hang on a sec here. 5 o'clock in the afternoon or 5 o'clock in the evening. 5 o'clock is one of those times where you're kind of wondering, is it afternoon or evening? Um, it's up for debate, but either answer is acceptable. If you say 5 o'clock in the afternoon, fine. If you say 5 o'clock in the evening, that's fine. Let's take a look at number 2. Number 2 says, write these two morning times in two ways with numbers and with words. So let's take a look at A. The minute hand is still on the 12. We're only working with the top of the hour here. Our hour hand is on the 11. 11. So it's got to be 11 o'clock. 
Now the question is, is it a.m. or p.m.? Well, it's a.m. because it already specified morning times. So we go 12 o'clock a.m. I mean 11 o'clock a.m., sorry. Now, how do we write this in words? Well, we write 11 o'clock in the morning. Let's take a look at B. So our big head is on the 12th, our little head is on the 6th. So we know that this is a 6 o'clock. We also know it's a morning time, so it's going to be a.m., not p.m. And then how do we write this in words? Well, 6 o'clock in the morning. And that's it. So this lesson basically is just expressing times to the hour, uh, both in words and in numbers. Uh, in numbers, you use a.m. and p.m. In words, you use in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, depending, or at night. Okay? I hope this has been clear, and if you have any questions, you may contact me on Microsoft Teams or by email. Thank you. Farewell.